be doing some hydro dipping. I just spray painted this one blue. This one's going to be a water bottle for my son. So the base color is blue. Remember I told you I'll be showing you different ways that you can fix your sublimation tumblers. So I'm going to be doing another one that I messed up. And today, instead of hand painting, we're going to hydro dip. No sanding. I'm just going to literally spray it and I'm using a base color for purple. I can't find my other sand. So I'm just going to give this a nice base color coat. Don't forget the bottom. Full coverage all around. And again, I got these silicone sleeves, these shields from tumblershield.com. They keep the inside of your tumblers protected. I'm gonna put my shield stand there. I'm gonna set that right up, let that dry, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so this is dry. It doesn't take that long. I'm just going to apply Mod Podge to the entire tumbler because I'm going to give it a nice glitter base so it can peek through that hydro dip and it should look really nice. I'm just going to apply this really fast. Like I said, I just want to do a glitter base. And I was going to use this from Peachy Olive Glitter, but I don't have a lot and I really like that. So I'm just going to do this color. This is from Efave Mart. And it's just a really nice uh, pink or like a rose gold color. So I'm just going to cover this. This is fine glitter. Now I only have like a thin handle because I have to put it on the turner. And I think I'm going to like all the open spots. I'm just going to put like the clear white. This color is, this is chandelier color. Now this one is from Peachy Olive Glitter. I just always go and put them in these little tops, these little containers, these shakers that I got from Amazon. Cause you know, when you get the bags of glitter, you need something to put it in. So I'm just gonna put this in here just to give it some more pop. I'm just trying to cover. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to hydro dip it. But I definitely still want enough all the way around. Okay, so that should be good. That should definitely be good. This is my next one that I'm going to do. So this one I'm just going to do one color. It's so hot in my garage. So I'm trying to move really quick. Okay. And I've, I got this one from Efave Mart as well. These really big shakers. I love these because... You get a lot of glitter for a really great price. As you can see, it's going everywhere. So I really need a big bucket to collect all this glitter.
I'm just going to apply a little bit on the bottom. Very little on the bottom. I'm actually just going to take from the bottom. And it's okay that some of this is gold because I'm literally going to put gold in here as well. Okay, so, so all I did was just sprinkle on the bottom like so. And that's fine. Tap that off. This I will put back so purpley. Gonna take a piece of parchment paper. I'm just gonna mash that in. And this big old fly. Just gonna mash that in. Okay, and I'm gonna let that sit and dry. So now before I put this on my turner, cause I'll just stick this in just like that when I'm ready to epoxy after I hydro dip it, I'm just gonna sit it right up here so it can dry. And the other one is right here drying as well. Okay, so I have some lukewarm water and I'm just gonna mix different color sprays. I'm gonna make sure I shake them up really well and we're just going to have some fun hydro dipping and mixing the different colors. Ah, really? Can't believe I did that. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in really slow at like a 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to shake. Give it a twist and bring it out. And that looks so nice. It's like a blue camouflage. I don't like that blue line that came right there, but I can cover that up and put his name on that side, put my decal on that side. You just wanna pat it dry. So I'm just gonna pat this dry and then I'm going to epoxy it. Okay, I'm going to cut this on. These are the other two that I have spinning. I'm waiting for those to dry and then I'll hydro dip those. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add epoxy to this one. And it is pouring in my garage. So it's rather soothing. The one thing about the hydro dip sometimes where the paint is, it can have, it can be a little bit uneven. So I'm doing a nice thick flood coat. I poured up 20 mLs, but I definitely won't need 20 mLs for the first one because this is a smaller tumbler. And now I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun. Okay, I have my first tumbler ready. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my spray paints for this one. I let this turn on the turner with epoxy with one layer of epoxy for about um, six, seven hours. So I'm going to be using some colors. And we're going to see how this comes out. In she goes. 
45 degree angle. And out. I love the way that came out because of all the sparkles. So I'm just going to take a paper towel and you just want to pat it dry. Sorry, it is now nighttime and I'm in my garage. I wish I had a little bit more tan. That other color that looks really nice so I'm going to hydro dip this one get some nice colors going so let's see how this one turns out with the glitter base all right I'm gonna shake these up really well all right here we go Okay, I'm going to add it in. Now that I like. Ooh, I just don't like that part right there. I'm so picky, y'all. But I love how the glitter comes through. That I like. That I'm going to leave alone. Going to pat that dry. It's definitely a learning curve. It's definitely a technique. You just think you're dipping it in. But you definitely have to have a certain technique. Because I see how I messed that up when I went to the top. I love it's almost like a peekable um, that's why you have to have that clear to get that glitter to pop through so I love this one I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna put it on the turner so this is my son's after turning all night I really like the way his came out I'm glad I didn't mess his up so I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna add a decal and then add another layer of epoxy um, you can see this one better over here I'm looking at it and I'm like, mm, do I really like it? So, I might end up taking that off again and changing the colors because it's just too much white glopped up right over here, literally like on one side. I am very anal, I'm very picky, and I'm definitely gonna start selling these, so I gotta have a great one to start out with. And I don't like that one. So practice makes perfect. I'm going to do it once again. The good thing about it is you can keep trying and perfecting it um, until you get it right. Just take it off with acetone and try again. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I have the tumbler here. I'm about to put on the decal. All I did was measure. I'm going to make it about six inches long just to give it a little space on both sides. I'm going to be using... This one is from Heat Transfer Warehouse, the Easy Glitter PSV. So this is the Azurite. It's like a blue glitter sparkle. So I want that to be the background. This is going to be my offset. And I'm just going to use my Starcraft White um, Glossy for the top layer. Okay, so something simple and something fast. You don't mirror it since you're going to transfer. I love this color, so... This should look really nice up against it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. 
And I'm just using the regular settings that's set in the Cricut for permanent glossy. And it's set to default. So looks like that cut perfectly. And again, this is the Starcraft. The font I'm using, I believe it's called Miro. Weaves so easy. So it's much easier to go ahead and put that on there. So I'm going to do that first. That was a used piece already. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this on. Let me see if I can do it this way so you guys can see. Lay this on. Nope, I'm not trying to mess it up. So I'm going to just put that on there. Okay, so I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to see. I think I want it right here because that has like the least stuff on it. So I'm going to turn it to me, of course. I printed out, I reprinted the K and the A. So now I'm just going to transfer this all first to get this flat. I need everything to stick down. It shows you that you can reuse these transfer tapes until they're not sticky anymore. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put his name right here. Make sure it's nice and centered. I'm just gonna rub down. I like this PSV vinyl, the glitter, because you know you're able to get some pops of color. Ooh. Now I'm just gonna take the K and the A. Take this K and the A and lay it down ever so carefully to not mess it up again. And it's kind of hard to see because of the blue. And then I put it right where the Caesar is. So I do have to look at it up to me. I do not want to get it. I'm trying to get it lined up with all the other letters as well. Boom. So now it's time to epoxy. All right, so these are the other ones. I'm not gonna finish this one until I get back. I'm just wanna make sure my sons is finished. Just gonna screw that on here. I did a very light sanding um, and I'm hoping that I don't need too much sanding. So I just did a really, really light sanding. I'm really loving the way this looks so far. So I mixed up 30 mLs. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be too much for that, but whatever's left over, I'll just go ahead and add a layer on that one. I started thinking I should have put some, you know, other decals on this, but this is just for now. I can always come back, add another decal, you know. Okay, weather advisory. Okay. Sorry about that. So I can always come back and add some decals, whatever his characters are, and put them, you know, like on the back or something, and then epoxy it again. So I'll probably do that once we get back. But as for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So I'm applying my final layer of epoxy. I'm doing a nice thick flood coat so that way I cover the decals and I don't have to come back in and apply another layer. I'm using Magic Resin. I love the way this resin clears and hardens. I've never had any issues with it. It's linked down below in the description box in my Amazon store. I popped all the bubbles out with my Wagner heat gun and I'm gonna cover it, let it turn for eight hours so that way it can dry faster. So these are the final results. This is my son's tumbler. I really like this one. It's like a blue camouflage looking one. I did two layers of epoxy. You can see the glitter. Really nice, just to give it that extra pop. 
not too much because it's for a boy. So this is going to be his tumbler, his water bottle. I really like this color combination. At first, I wasn't liking it, but it really looks nice after I epoxied it. I didn't want too much white in it, so it's giving me a little marble. I should have had a little bit more of the tan, but you can kind of see those glitters really shining through. In order to get those glitters to really pop through, you do have to use that crystal clear spray as well to help it. But this one came out really nice. It's growing on me. So this is my least favorite one of all. I'm probably going to redo this one. Um, I don't like the way the colors uh, mix. In order to get those colors to mix really the way I want it to, to really um, swirl nice, you need that wooden dowel or wooden stick because everything else I tried to use, it kept sticking to the actual um, thing. So, you know, in order to hydro dip it, in order to, you know, get it to mix and swirl the colors, Without sticking, um, I've seen people use the wooden sticks. So I don't really like this one because it has way too much white over there. But, you know, I do get the glitters to pop through. So I do like the fact that, you know, this gives it like a peekaboo look. So I definitely have to get my technique down some more. But I definitely want to show you, you know, the process. Now, this is another way that you can do your tumblers. Or this is just another way that you can fix messed up tumblers really easy. You can do this with alcohol ink as well as spray paint so i will be trying it with alcohol ink as well but again this is how i hydro dip my tumblers for the very first time let me know what you think down in the comments below let me know which one is your favorite your least favorite and what techniques you use as always i will see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe bye